Hello, everyone. I am Don B. Her, who will give you an art lesson. My name means the rain that is so very needed at the end of a drought. Although I am far from you, I am so glad to talk to you. Well, everyone, while I give you lessons, I hope you find that art is not difficult to learn and enjoy drawing and coloring. Then, what is a picture? A picture is something that you can draw however you think. Even if you imagine something that doesn't exist in this world, you can make it by drawing. That's a picture. A picture has no specific right answer. So even if I teach you art like this, you don't have to follow it like rules. I hope you can color as you like more freely. Now, let's start with the first lesson. Everyone, here are our materials. I have a sketchbook, a pencil, an eraser, and a frog pencil sharpener. Let's put this pencil here in the nose of the frog. Let's open it like this and put in the pencil. I turned it around and now the pencil is sharpened. Here we go. Okay, put the pencil sharpener back on the side. I'll draw the picture again. The very basics of drawing your picture are the dots, the line, and solid faces. With these three elements, we can draw any pictures. I'll start by drawing a dot. Friends, have you seen a star in the night sky? I like the stars. There's a little star a little bit bigger star and a bigger star. When I see these glittering stars, I feel so good. Because there are so many sparkling stars in the night sky. A dark night is not scary. So, a little star, a little bigger star, next, an even bigger star. I've drawn a little bit with a variety of sizes. Now these are points. Some points are big, but if it gets too big, then it's not a point. I think it would be great to remember these little stars later. Next is the line. The line is made up of dots. Look! I'll make dots closely like this. I make some like I did before. I just marked them closely and connected them like this. By connecting them, we make a line. So the lines are each so different. Let me repeat the line again. Yes, this line is a straight line. There's a long straight line. And there's a curve. The curves, like the one I just drew now, feel soft. 
Okay, now you all should try it. How about this? Are these lines pointed? Such a sharp pointed line or a line that looks so hard is called a straight line. And look at this one. Yeah, it's somewhat similar to this one, but it's a bit different. It looks like a wave. It looks like a pretty rounded line. These soft feeling lines are called curves. So using these various lines, I'm going to draw a picture with you. I told you before that when dots are connected together, they become a line. This time, the lines are connected and they become dots. Now let's just draw lines close to each other. I'm going to draw a circle first. Well, that's a little different. Yes, I'm drawing a line with a shape like this. I've drawn lines in different directions. This is a circle. It's circular, but it's a long circle. It's circular, but it has long sides. It's an oval. I can draw various circles like this. Also, here are the lines that we learned to draw before. One, two, three, four. I joined the four lines and they're shaped like a square. And then there's a square like that. Next, draw a square having long sides. And draw the same line next to it. I drew it pointed like this. It became a triangle. This is the same triangle, but it's longer and... This triangle is longer on the side. Yes! I've shown these three shapes with lines. Okay! Now we're going to color in these lines and make it a solid face. So, if the lines come together and the lines go back and forth, it gets filled with a color, right? This is a face. It's not difficult. I will color it. So color the circle and the square and make the lines come and go. This is all about making a face. Underneath is a long rectangle. If you continue to color it in, you can make this fun and not difficult. I've also colored the square. Next, the triangle. You all, color the colors you like.
Yay! I'm almost done with the long triangle. Yes! And lastly, color the triangle with the long sides. Wow! It's finished! Picture doesn't have a specific right answer. Everyone can be right. If your picture looks different from others, that makes it even better. I hope you had a good time with your teacher today. And I'm so excited about the first piece you all have made. Next time, I'll see you all again. Bye, friends!